Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at an older, never to be released game that I was so excited for in my younger gamer years, StarCraft Ghosts. This was a military science fiction stealth action game that was popular at the time with the release of Konami's Metal Gear Solid 2 and Ubisoft's Splinter Cell. This period was a time of the third person action adventure games that truly pushed the current gen's tech to look incredible with their lifelikeness, lighting, and engrossing storylines. StarCraft Ghost was developed by Blizzard Entertainment and was never to be released. Although announced in 2002, the game was slated for the current consoles like the GameCube, PlayStation 2, and the original Xbox. Owning the Xbox at the time, I was so excited to see what new special effects were coming from hits like Ninja Gaiden and the lighting from Splinter Cell. It was nice to see developers always challenging themselves further. Soon, development would shift from nihilistic software and then to Swingin' Ape Studios before its eventual cancellation, or how Blizzard noted it as an indefinite hold. Soon to be labeled as Vaporware, the hope of the game would soon increase to the next-gen systems at the time with the Xbox 360. This of course did not materialize at all. Later, I got games like Sega's Gun Valkyrie and Microsoft's Gears of War and pretty much forgot until the game code was released for the original Xbox, making me look back at what could have been. The gist of the game is an action stealth adventure in comparison to its strategy origins, where the game plays in third person where the player controls the heroine Nova. Nova could engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, fire with many assortments of weapons, and would be able to transverse the world in stealth with the help of a cloaking device. Just when online console gaming was getting popular, Ghost definitely did not want to be left out of the party and was also planned to have a multiplayer mode like Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, to King of the Hill. There would be an RPG element in upgrading characters in their armor and it was dependent on the different classes that the player would be able to pick from. Unfortunately, the game would have a delay after delay and through diff three different companies that would end up with Swing and Ape Studios to finish the project. With the cancellation of the GameCube with no online support, it was down to just the PS2 and Xbox. But in 2006, the game was on hold, but possibly for the next-gen systems that, of course, like I said before, never materialized. In the end, Polygon's article in 2014 revealed that the game was made at the end of the life of the PS2 and Xbox, but was to be released in 2005 with the Xbox 360 at almost the same time. Blizzard felt that it would cost way too much money and taking away resources to move the game to the 360 since it had a better success with its PC only World of Warcraft. It was just much easier to take the hit and never look back with the massive amount of overhead from their MMORPG. With a 2020 leak of the game, the Xbox received an almost complete game that gave you an idea of what the game may have been, especially on its strongest system at the time. Although extremely rough, it still showed what the developers tried to envision. Looking at what it was, I'm glad the game was never released, as the game just wasn't far enough for an actual release for the system. By the time it would have been ready, the game probably would look inferior in comparison to the 360, hence the question on porting it to the next gen systems. With loads of money from World of Warcraft that still even produces today, it's better to have a game that never became anything at all than tarnish the brand with a subpar action game that had other better game options around the corner. Plus, with so much money coming in, it makes it easier to forget the failure of what was. That's it on this look at what happened with StarCraft Ghost. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Gray take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Oh shit. Moving along.
launch detected. Damn. Uh. Yeah.